Lesson 3, Coordinate Geometry, Angle Between Two Intersecting Lines Theory Prove the angle theta between two intersecting lines with gradients m1 and m2 is given by the formula theta equals the inverse tan of m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2. Now what I'll do here is this diagram. We'll call this line 1. So that's line 1. That means theta m1 must be equal to the tan of beta and m2 must be equal to the tan of alpha. Right, now from simple geometry we know that uh, theta plus alpha must be equal to beta because the external angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. Taking tans about, then taking the alpha across the other side, we get theta equals beta minus alpha. Therefore, the tan of theta is equal to the tan of beta minus alpha. And expanding the right hand side, we get the tan of beta minus the tan of alpha all over 1 plus tan beta tan alpha. But we know that the tan of beta is m1 and the tan of alpha is m2 over 1 plus m1 m2. Therefore, finally, theta must be the inverse tan of m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2. Now, when m1 is greater than m2, you get a positive result, and that will yield you the acute angle. If you go the other way around, you'll get a negative result, and of course that will give you the obtuse angle, this one here. So. It's probably best to make sure this gradient is larger than that one. Get your acute angle. Then if you're asked to find the obtuse angle, then simply subtract the acute angle from 180 degrees to get that final angle in there. Example 1. Find the acute angle between the lines x plus root 3y equals 1 and x plus y equals 2. What we'll do, we'll first of all rearrange it. So we we'll make y the subject, and hence read off what the gradient is. So in the first case here we get root 3y equals minus x plus 1. So y equals minus 1 on root 3x plus 1 on root 3. Therefore we have m1 equals minus 1 on root 3. Okay, another one. We have the y is equal to minus x plus 2, so m2 equals minus 1. Okay, now the formula is the tan of theta is equal to m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2. Now they're both positive, I'm sorry, they're both negative here, so which one are we going to use? Well, if I choose them in this order, they'll be okay because when I subtract the negative, this will be a positive one, and that'll make the numerator obviously positive till the whole thing will end up to being a positive result, which we, it's, and that's what we want. It won't matter, you just got to go negative one, just ignore the sign and work out the acute angle, and away you go again. So you could have some values around here if you want to. So here we go, putting those in, we get um, minus one over root three, this will be plus one over 1. Now a minus a minus gives a plus, so that'd be plus 1 on root 3. Now this becomes minus 1 plus root 3 all over root 3 over root 3 plus 1 over root 3. And we can see that these little root 3s will cancel out. Okay, 
and now we're going to get back to becomes root 3 minus 1 over root 3 plus 1. Bottom, multiplying the top and bottom by the conjugate. We don't have to do this. You can speed this in your calculator, but it's nice to see what it's going to turn out to be. And that's going to give me 3 minus 2 root 3 plus 1 all over 3 minus 1. And that becomes 4 minus 2 root 3 over 2, and of course that'll all cancel down to 2 minus root 3. Therefore, the tan of theta equals that, so theta equals the inverse tan of this. And that actually comes out to exactly 15 degrees. Example 2. Find the acute angle to the nearest minute between the lines y equals 2x plus 1 and y equals x plus 1. Okay, so now we'll write down the gradient, so it's a fairly straightforward one. So m1 is equal to 2, and m2 is equal to 1. Therefore, the tan of theta is m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2, which is 2 minus 1 over 1 plus 2 times 1. Therefore, theta equals the inverse tan of 1 third. And when you put that in your calculator, you get the result 18 degrees, 26 minutes. It's one little word of warning. If you put them around the other way and you got a negative result, you would have got minus, on your calculator, minus 18 degrees, 26 minutes. Right, so, so you just remove that, because that's going to be the, the positive case when you put the absolute value signs around them. OK, example 3. Find the obtuse angle to the nearest minute between the lines y equals 2x plus 1 and x equals 1. Now, I'll just draw a diagram to illustrate this particular one. So we're going to have our axis here, and have our lines y equals 2x plus 1 here, and y x equals 1 here. Because now you can see you've got an infinite gradient, so we can't use the formula. It's the right angle there. However, we know we're going to find this angle here. We'll call it alpha. So we know that the gradient of this one is 2. Therefore, the tan of alpha is equal to 2. So alpha equals the inverse tan of this, which is 63 degrees and 26 minutes. Now this is complementary to this one. So theta must be equal to 90 degrees minus 63 degrees, 26 minutes, and that comes out to 26 degrees, 34 minutes. But we're after the obtuse angle, so we've got this angle here, so it's still a matter of taking this away from 180 degrees. So the obtuse angle, obtuse angle is equal to 180 minus 26 degrees, 34. And that's equal to 153 degrees, 26 minutes.